TL259 on RG58, or in this case, RG223, which is pretty much the same thing, except double shielded. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take the coax and measure it like so. So that you can see that the end lines up with the pin, into the pin. We want the skirt. Uh, cut the cable where the skirt is. So, around using a sharp knife like a Stanley knife, and that, if I've done everything right, will just come off. Like so. Yeah. Careful not to cut myself. Take the sheath off. See that RG223 is a lot better than RG58. That's much harder to work with. But once we get it off, If we get it off, if we get it off, without taking the dielectric out, if we can help it, it doesn't matter a terrible lot. I think we'll just use some side cutters. Get those last little bits off. Like so. Right. So that's where it should be. And it doesn't matter if it's too long. Long is better than short. You can always cut that off. So we end up with this one's slightly long, but that's okay. It should at least reach to the point where you can solder it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the PVC off halfway along the skirt, so about there. Do that. It's nice if you've got a cable stripping tool. So now that we've got that kind of arrangement. We can fold this small amount back on itself, like so. This is probably not a lot because it's you want it just thick enough so that it's going to bite the bite the the skirt. And now. That will end up in there to some degree, like that. So we want to take off the insulation from about there forward. Which we'll do carefully, like so. Side cut. Professional video production. Voila. And now, if you've done everything right, you shouldn't have nicked it. It should be strong enough. First things first. Always put the, always put the, sh the nut on first because it's rather embarrassing having to take it all apart. Now it just screws on with a bit of pressure. On turning, and what we want is we want the skirt to bite the, PV, the black PVC. And once you've got it right, the center conductor should also go straight up to the center pin. I'm not going to see that. Keep tightening, keep tightening. It should bite like that. 
and you shouldn't be able to pull it off. That should be a good connection. Then I'll, you can see we've got a little bit sticking out the top here. All we do is cut that off. Now we're ready to solder it. Nice double solder in there. And it's good. You shouldn't see any braid in there at all. You don't need to put solder in the hole. The only place you need to put solder is in the tip. And that's as good as it gets. See, you can see, never going to pull that off. Slide the, the nut forward. Screw that on. And she's good to go.